So in this video, I'm going to talk about what osteoclasts are. To begin with, osteoclasts are bone dissolving cells that are found on the surface of the bone. And so these osteoclasts are a little different than the other bone cells that we've talked about because they develop from bone marrow stem cells that can also give rise to blood cells. And so these cells are pretty large and they're formed from the fusion of a bunch of stem cells. And so as a result, you can imagine that they have many nuclei. So as you can see in this diagram to the bottom right, there's one, two, three, four, five different nuclei, all from different stem cells. And so typically the osteoclasts can have as many as 200 nuclei, although some may only have five to 20. For example, this one only has five nuclei. And so one really important thing about the osteoclast is that they have a ruffled border. And so it essentially looks like a brush as you can see right there and down there. And so this ruffled border is always going to be facing towards the bone. So the bone is always going to be under the ruffled border. And so the reason that the plasma membrane is folded like this is that it increases the surface area and as a result it's going to increase the resorption efficiency. And so in order to dissolve the bone Osteoclasts produce a variety of different enzymes, with the most important one being acid phosphatase. So after the bone gets dissolved, it's broken into fragments, and then the osteoclast then engulfs the fragments and uses the vacuoles to digest them. And so these osteoclasts also are typically found in pits of hardened bone, and these pits are called resorption bays on the bone surface. And so pretty much just to summarize, remodeling of the bone results from bone dissolving osteoclasts as well as the bone depositing osteoblasts. But the main purpose of this video, the main thing I hope you got out of this video is that osteoclasts dissolve bone. And so that pretty much sums it up for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video and found it useful. If you did, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.